You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know about type 2 diabetes. If you have been told you're pre-diabetic or if you are taking insulin for your type 2 diabetes or even an oral medication and, and, and you want to know more, some of the new treatment options available, uh, you have to hear you know, my first guest, what he has to say, Dr. Burns. Dr. Burns, welcome to the program. Thanks for having us. All right, so your center, Integrative Health of Tampa. Yes. Is that right? Tell me a little bit about it. I mean, you do more than just diabetes. We do. Uh, you know, Our center is an integrated uh, healthcare facility, meaning that we have doctors of all different types of you have backgrounds. medical doctor. We have medical okay. doctors, um, you know, allied professionals, uh, people with the, you know, different training, different expertise. Uh, what we're really best known for, Randy, is uh, three different conditions we take care of. Uh, those are going to be uh, hypothyroidism or low thyroid, uh, peripheral neuropathy, uh, and then type 2 diabetes, which we're talking about today. Okay, with type 2 diabetes, by the way, it, it, and I think people know in the news, I mean, millions and millions of people have type 2 diabetes. Absolutely. Yeah. And younger people are getting it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the general consensus, though, is with my research, okay, mm -hmm. limited research, is that when you get to the point where you're on insulin, mm -hmm. taking insulin, you can't turn it around. Yeah. And you're saying you see it all the time. Every day. Really? Every day in our office, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, reversal in, in type 2 diabetes? Complete reversal. Uh, and patients getting getting better, decrease in their medication, uh, getting off of insulin is a routine occurrence in our office. Give me an idea of the, the standard treatment for type 2 diabetes, the approach. Sure. And what you guys do and how it's different. Right. So most uh, type 2 diabetics, when they get diagnosed, it kind of comes as a shock to them. They, you know, they get it, uh, they go to an unrelated doctor's visit of some sort. They go in for their annual checkup, whatever the case may be. You know, they do a workup on them and they get sent on their way, you know, thinking everything's fine. And a couple days later, they get a phone call from that office and you know, the doctor wants to see them for a follow-up visit. And they're thinking, what is this all about? Okay. And they go back in and see the doctor and the doctor says, well, Randy, how long have you been a diabetic? You say, Doc, I'm not a diabetic. You've been my doctor for five years. You know I'm not a diabetic. He says, oh, no, you are. Here's the, the lab that we ran. You know, your blood sugar is 165. It's supposed to be under 100. You got to get that under control, Randy, okay? So really what you need to do, you need, I want, what I want you to do is I want you to try to lose some weight. I want you to start exercising. You need to change your diet. And I'll see you in a couple months for a follow-up. Okay. And that's about it. So then that patient leaves that office saying, you know, oh my goodness, I'm a diabetic. All right, so they think, well, I've been- Borderline, borderline diabetic. Could be borderline or okay. could be full blown, either one. This is what your patients tell this you? This is what our patients tell us all the time. Okay. Yeah, so this okay. is what we're hearing from them. Sure. So then they, you know, before they know it, a couple months have passed, uh, they go in for their, their checkup with the doctor and the doctor looks at and says, well, what happened? You know, I told you to lose weight, diet, and okay. exercise. Your blood sugar is still high. You've actually gained a couple of pounds. You know, and usually what happens next, what they tell us is that pen hits the prescription pad he says, you know, I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to give you 500 milligrams of metformin. I want you to start taking that twice a day. So they get an oral medication? They get an oral medication. Or they get insulin? No, they usually, they start off on oral medications okay. first, typically, okay? So, and they get that prescription, and he says, you know, but you really need to control this with diet and exercise and, you know, losing some weight, and I'll see you for a checkup in a few months. Okay, at that point, and, and I have an uncle, I think I told one of your partners that I have an uncle that mm -hmm. he went somewhat, I don't know if, if that's the route, but he took right. oral medications. Mm -hmm. He goes, Randy, I'm done. I'm on insulin now. Right. It cannot be turned around. I'm saying, well, you know, there's a lot of doctors that say you can turn it around, reverse it. Yeah. And do you think that they think by time they get to taking insulin, it's too late? I think they do because oftentimes uh, our patients tell us that that's what they get told. Uh, that once they start on the insulin, that it's pretty much going to be a fixture in their life. I had a, a guy named Mark Hyman, medical doctor, well known. He has a PBS mm -hmm. special. He sat here and said, Randy, within a week, I could almost get every patient off of insulin. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I don't know if you're going to make those bold statements, but you see people getting off insulin all the time. We do. And sometimes it happens within a week. Sometimes it takes a few months, but it, it's, it's hard a, to believe. It's a really, but it's a routine occurrence. And like I said, this is, you know, this is happening on all over. It's not just in our center. You know, it's just that, you know, uh, it's that, finding a doctor, I guess, that has this approach. And, exactly. And believe. now another thing that you differ and, and I'm not sure I, I quite understand, but you don't look at it as an insulin problem. No. So it's not, but mainstream traditional medicine is looking at it as an insulin, like not enough insulin? That they do look at it that way because- My God, do I have it right? Yeah, kind okay. of. You know, they look at it that way because insulin is the hormone in your body that helps to control blood sugar. Okay. So, you know, the, uh, the, the kind of simplistic model is, okay, high blood sugar, insulin controls blood sugar, let's give more insulin, all right? So that's kind of the, 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 the simplistic view of it. All right, however, what we see, Randy, in, in almost all of our type two diabetes, it's not an insulin problem at all. It's actually insulin resistance, meaning, all right. okay, so what that means is they have enough insulin in their body 
They, their really? body just isn't utilizing it. So I often kid with my patients. I say, you know what, if I sent you out for an insulin test right now, I'd bet you a steak dinner that you have just as much insulin in your body as I do. Okay. You know? And they kind of look at me funny and I say, wait, you have, you've never had that test? And they say, no, I've never had that test. I say, wait, but you're taking insulin. They never actually measured to see what your insulin levels were? No, they, they never did that. They had to check the insulin level. <laughs> it, 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 very rarely. Uh, I have if they did, they don't even know about it. No. The patient doesn't. It's Usually, not a number given to them. No, because it, it, really, it doesn't play into the treatment. It's all about the blood sugar. It, it, right. It doesn't play into the treatment. So that's really kind of an inconsequential test in the traditional medical model because it's not going to change what they do. So why run the test in the first place? Uh, incidentally, I've never lost that bet to this day okay. when I do send somebody out and I, to see what their levels really are. Okay. okay. So, you know, by addressing the insulin resistance, why that patient can't utilize insulin properly, that's how we're getting folks off of insulin. Okay. Because the insulin's there, the body's just not recognizing so how does it. So how does it work? I mean, how do you reverse that? Sure. Okay. That problem. So, so really what you need to do is you need to look at all the different th things in the body that control blood sugar uh, in a physiology basis, right? Okay. So there's different systems and organs in the body that control blood sugar, all right? So really you got to look at the brain and hormones. That's a big one, okay? okay? So sex hormones, that type of thing. You also need to look at other organ function. Liver is a big one, for instance, okay? You know, liver has a, a, is a primary regulator of blood sugar. You then you have to look at the pancreas because the pancreas looks, makes insulin. You know, the big one that we see is you have to look at adrenal fu function, okay? Adrenal gland function is a huge one. All right, and then beyond that, you're so gonna... adrenal function affects blood sugar. Absolutely, How? one hundred percent. Okay, because the adrenal glands are essentially the the common name for them are your stress glands. Okay. Uh, and what American is not leaving a high stress life at this yeah. point? So we have chronic stress that's going to take the toll on the on the uh, adrenal glands. So then the cortisol levels are going to go all over the place. And that's a stress hormone. That is the stress hormone. Okay. So then what happens with high cortisol? You're going to see problems sleeping. You're going to see weight gain. Okay. Then they start to gain weight, and then they become less active. They can't become more sedentary. Then they become depressed, and you know all these problems just kind of start to. Sp uh, spiral out of control. And then you also have to look at the digestive tract. That's a big So you one. heal the adrenals? We do. Or you help support the adrenals? We do. And, and interestingly, the adrenals are one of the, the primary factors that we see in the vast majority of our patients. Just adrenal fatigue is rampant with these patients. Okay. So you take care of that. Mm -hmm. What else? What okay. else are you looking at? Well, I mean, the, the, the comprehensive model is... So, I mean, nutrition is a big part of it. Nutrition is a huge part of it, okay? Because, you, uh, you know, that's one of the, the things that we do is we customize nutrition plans for the patient. So we don't just tell the patient, you know, lose weight and exercise because that's not going to help the patient, all right? You know, they don't know what to eat because the appropriate diet for them is not going to be the same that's for me you or for you. think it's confusing for people because when, uh, in preparing for this interview, mm -hmm. when I do diabetic... Right. diet, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different It's so confusing for people. It's so, there's so much misinformation out there. I mean, like you said, you know, you go to Amazon, you search for diabetic diets, you're going to find, you know, oodles and oodles of books. Okay. And those books all worked for somebody at some point, but they're not going to work. They're not going to be all things to all people. That's one of the big differences with our center, Randy, is that we literally customize a nutrition plan for every single patient. You, you're big on food allergy testing or food sensitivity testing. Mm -hmm. How does that play a role here? Sure, because di diabetes you know, if somebody's chronically taking in foods that they're going to be sensitive to or allergic to, that's going to cause the inflammatory process to, to, to kick in. So you, know, you have an allergic reaction, it's going to cause an inflammatory process, the inflammatory process is going to stress the adrenal glands, the adrenal glands then are going to increase cortisol, it's going to, you know, it, it, it's very much a... And it a, can raise blood sugar. Oh, this, absolutely. This whole cascade of problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. So once we get them on a good anti-inflammatory diet that's customized to them. Anti-inflammatory diet. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's really important. And the great thing about this for the people watching at home right now, you know, they're thinking diet. It's another four letter word to these people. Yeah. Okay. Not, not, not our patients never complain about the diet because here's the thing. No calorie counting. No carb uh, counting, no fat gram counting, no portion control. Just stay away from certain foods. Exactly. Because okay. you, what we're doing is we're eliminating the bad things, right? And then you're taking in good. So you, we tell the patient, you know, you eat from this list of uh, foods, which we give them the, the recipes, the grocery list, the meal plan, all those things. You know, eat until you're content. Don't and, stuff and yourself. And you have a four course, to six month program. Is that right? We do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... You, you give them nutritional supplements as well. We do, okay. For the diabetic patient. Absolutely, to help heal those imbalances that we're finding through our extensive proprietary testing. So then we're able to, 
give them that to heal the mechanism. We give, we're putting good nutrition and fuel into them because we put them onto a clean diet. Uh, we're able to modulate and control the medication as aspect as well because we have an integrated center. So they're able to get all these tools under one roof and it really starts, I mean, it just, the light bulb goes on for these people because once we lay it all out for them, what the plan of attack is going to be, they're just like, that makes sense. And then once they start doing it, you know, the, the big thing that we're, you know, we're all about, Randy, is results, 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 okay? Once they actually just embrace our process and start to do what we recommend, the results come so quickly for most patients. Okay, so the people that are taking insulin, mm -hmm. and you say you get people off of insulin every week. Every day. Is that true? Okay, every day. Mm -hmm. and, and they start feeling better. The goal, obviously, is to catch them a little farther upstream where they're taking the oral medications. Are that, they the easier patient? Uh, not, necess no? not necessarily, because uh, oftentimes, when, you know, uh, p people are motivated by pain and pleasure, of course, right? So oftentimes when the patient is on insulin already, they, they tend to become a little bit more serious about their condition. Okay. Because once we see the patients go on insulin, a lot of times that's when they start to go downhill really fast. So then that's a wake-up call for them, because many of these patients are, you know, a little bit older patients. They're, you know, uh, around retirement age. They want to really enjoy. They're worried about amputation and things like that, yeah, right? It really Heart quali disease and Quality of life. You know, they're worried, okay. they're worried about losing their eyes. They're worried about uh, heart, uh, heart disease, kidney disease, uh, liver disease. They're worried about, uh, um, the, you know, the thing that they really worry about is, yeah, losing a, a foot, but ending up in a wheelchair. But aren't they afraid to get off of insulin? I mean, you're oh, there. You're in the, I mean, aren't they afraid? They're not afraid. That, that's what they come in asking for. They say, I want off of this insulin. I want off of all of these drugs. That's what they come in looking for. They They're just not don't afraid know that it. it's possible. They just don't know that it's possible. Okay. The, the wonderful thing is, though, it's all black and white. It's all very objective for these people because we test and test and test, and we really monitor them closely. So as they start to heal, the only prudent thing to do is to really start to bring these people off of their medications with the help of our medical physicians. And they no longer have this so-called, uh, I'm calling it so-called, the disease of diabetes. Well, I mean, or is it like in remission? Well, I mean, you have to look at the way that we look at it is this, okay? If the diagnosis of the disease comes from a laboratory marker, become, you know, going out of range, if we can get that back into the normal range and not need medication to keep it there, is that a fair uh, definition of reversing the disease? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. We come back more about what to expect on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today, we're talking about what you need to know about type two diabetes. According to Dr. Burns, it is reversible, and they see it every day in their in, in their clinic. But he also joins uh, thousands of other mainstream medical doctors across the country that believe through nutrition and uh, and actually going to the underlying cause that you, that you can reverse this. Uh, we'll be right back. You are watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic: what you need to know about reversing type two diabetes. Okay. Um, now, so, so the average age of the patient that comes to see you for the diabetes program is what? You know, I'd say most patients probably uh, are in, in the late 40s to mid 60s range. Okay, the pre-diabetics, mm -hmm. uh, maybe there's a lot of people that are not diagnosed. Mm -hmm. On the internet, it said in the next few years, there'll be 250 million with type two diabetes. Uh, you know, I think I'm right, that was on AP News. Okay. So what, what's the pre-diabetic yes. and how important is for them to get in early. Sure, the pre-diabetic. What is are the a, symptoms? Yeah, I should say. the symptoms. They're, they're going to start noticing uh, things like you know the, the dry mouth. Uh, they're going to notice maybe they're going to the bathroom a little bit more than they used to be. Okay. Uh, you know, having to urinate quite a bit. Uh, they're going to notice low energy, fatigue. Uh, they may not notice still that they're you know they're kind of slowly you know packing on the pounds. Uh, those are some warning signs. Now, after a meal, you say they get sleepy. Oh yeah, oftentimes yes. You know, so they you know they, they eat that meal and you know they're they're on the couch uh, sleep in ten minutes. Uh, that's kind of a hallmark for that pre-diabetic patient. So you know if they're having those warning signs, uh, you know it really needs to be a wake-up call for them. And weight gain, unexplained weight gain. Unexplained All weight of a sudden, gain. Right? They haven't they haven't changed their diet. They haven't changed their exercise program. They're still doing all the things that they used to do. And oftentimes these patients, they you know kind of uh, they, they unknowingly chalk it up to well I'm just getting older. Okay, but you know that's a that's a warning sign, and they need to take that seriously. Then they need to get checked. So the pre-diabetic, uh, so, so they're coming, and do they just go to their. I mean, when they go to you, mm -hmm. in fact, let's start there. Okay. Sure. 
day one? What, what can they expect? Sure. Day you one, guys have a free consultation kind of a thing going on, right? We do, we do, because we want to make sure that the patient is going to be a good fit for our clinic and that we're going to be a good fit for the patient. So before we accept anybody into care, they need to go through a, an initial consultation process. You want serious people. We do. We want people. What does that mean, by the way? You said we want committed people. We really do, because, you know, unfortunately, some people are much more committed to their health than others are, aren't they? Right? So and we take it very seriously in our clinic because, again, we're all about results. So the, the typical thing that would tell a patient, Randy, is, you know what, I can't take your health more seriously than you do. In order for you to get well, you're going to have to be an active participant in this process, meaning you're going to have to be willing to make some lifestyle changes. So if, if I've heard, you know, I've, I've talked to people that say, you know, I have type 2 diabetes, they're on the oral medication mm -hmm. part, and they say, but, you know, because I, you know, I tell them about guys like you, sure. right? And they say, well, look, if I, have to, if I can't eat what I love to eat, mm -hmm. then I'm not interested. Okay. That means they almost choose the medication so that way they can eat the way they're eating. Right. They so do. you must hear that. We hear it all the time. And those patients aren't going to be a good fit for our program. Okay. You know, so that's, again, we need to look at, you know, but patients. But you say it's comfortable. It's easy to follow. That means your nutrition program mm -hmm. is easy to follow. It is. And much more so, I mean, what our patients tell us is that it's the easiest to follow diet that they've ever had. Okay. okay. Because, okay. you know, because we make it so simple for them. Because really, we literally hold their hand through the process. We're providing the meal plans, the grocery list, the recipes. And again, it's, it's none of the tedious work of dieting, whereas counting calories and points and carbs and you know, weigh-in portions and all of that nonsense, uh, we don't have to do that in our program. And patients love that. That's what's the easy part about it. Because they say, okay, this is what I can eat. I like this stuff. You know, and then they're free to make whatever they want using those approved ingredients. So they're like, yeah, I can when, do this. When they go back to their medical doctor uh -huh. and they no longer have type 2 diabetes, right. I mean, do they tell you the stories and share with you? Do the doctors ever call and say, what do you guys do? Or Sometimes they do. In fact, I mean, most of the time, uh, most, the most common thing we'll see, hear from patients is the doctor will tell them, you know what? I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it because it's working for you. And, you know, some, every once in a while we will get a note from a doctor saying, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, thank you for your work with so and so patient. You know, they, you know, they've really improved as a result. Uh, and oftentimes, those doctors will uh, turn into referral sources for us because you know they've been taking care of that patient in the traditional model. You know, using the tools that they know how to use. You know, through no fault of their own, the patient just wasn't getting well. And then they see the result because they interact with that patient on a regular basis. And then they kind of become believers themselves. Okay, now, you know, we we talked about a little bit about this at the beginning of the show, but uh, you know, medical doctors are kind of mixed. I mean. The ones that get it, the ones that mm -hmm. say, Randy, this is reversible. Type 2 diabetes is reversible. And the other ones that don't, mm -hmm. okay? And these are smart guys. Sure, of course. Why is it that some doctors will tell me, I just don't believe it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I've never seen it where somebody gets taken off insulin. Sure. With just nutrition or with whatever. Right. What I think, is your response to that? What's your take on why? I think probably the big reason is that they're not having it, they're not seeing any of those patients in their office. So, you know, okay. maybe their patients in their office haven't gone to an integrated center like ours and gotten those results. Uh, the other thing is they're not seeing it in the treatment that they're providing because quite frankly, nobody has diabetes because they have a metformin deficiency. Okay. okay. <laughs> there, there, there's a bigger problem at, at will. All so right. you throw metformin at that, uh, you know, or glip or whatever you want to throw at that. I mean, type 2 diabetes is fairly a new phenomenon, I, I understand. Like 100 years ago, yeah. in the medical literature, very, very few people had type 2 diabetes. Yeah, and it's growing, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, the, you know, like you mentioned that study earlier, you know, it, it's just, it's becoming almost epidemic, really. And it's starting to affect younger people. So it's and younger what we're people. eating. It's the environment. It is. It's, it's our stress level. It's a stress, and it's, it's, it's what those things do to the processes in our body, you know? So, I mean, high stress, sedentary lifestyle, um, you know, uh, p degraded food supply. But it uh, sounds complicated. How do you turn all that around? Because there's still going to be pollution. There's still going to be stress. Sure, it is complicated. But, you know, that's what's unique about our program is because it's, it's, it's really as much of, of a teaching process as it is a treatment process. So during that time, we're treating the patient and bringing those imbalances back to normal, but at the same time teaching them of how they got there in the first place so that once we do get them well, they're able to keep themselves well. Something interesting, too, you say, that they may come to you because of their type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. But then when you really get to meet them, they have IBS, they yep. have depression, they have anxiety, they have all of these other medical issues, mm -hmm. maybe even arthritis. High blood pressure, high cholesterol. Migraines. And those things also tend to go away as they get healthier. That was the interesting phenomenon about this is that as we started treating the patient, you know, comprehensively, not only were they getting off their high blood pressure, or I'm sorry, their high blood sugar medications, but they were also getting off blood pressure medication, depression medication, cholesterol medication, you know. Is that right? The list goes on. And you have a medical doctor that will oversee this. Sure, absolutely. This, uh, 
medica I mean, to get off of the medication. Yep, the whole process. So, so we're able to supervise it in our clinic. We don't take the patient away from their primary care doctor. Okay, Good. so okay. I mean, we're not stealing the patients. So, but we just do have we have that ability because sometimes patients get so results so fast they need intervention right away. They need to get a you know medication adjusted right away. So we have the ability to do that right there in house. But we keep their their primary care in the loop. We'll be, we're happy to share our results. We're happy to fax over lab results if the if the doctor's interested. So doctors will watch this interview, watch mm -hmm. this show. What do you want them to know about your center when it comes to type two diabetes? Sure, I really want them to know that uh, you know that the proof is really in the results, all right? And that no doctor can argue when I when I was talking about earlier about you know the the different physiological mechanisms in the body that control blood sugar. That's not my opinion. I mean that's that's physiology 101 in medical school. Right? These are the organs. So that you're going to spend the time on their nutrition. Mm -hmm. You're going to spend the time on what else? Nutrition, lifestyle uh, modification. Uh, we're going to do um, supplementation to help heal the imbalances that are there. So the doctors need to know you're not just some alternative center. Oh no. Okay. No, no it's a comprehensive approach. What they really, I mean, they, uh, and I really think that's the wave of the future, Randy. Is the integrated model. You know, when you're able to deliver but all doctors these services. Doctors don't have the time, as you know. They don't. If they only have five minutes or ten minutes. They do, and you know, in the traditional setting, oftentimes that's what happens. You know, they've got there's a lot of sick people out there, and there's just not enough doctors. You know, oftentimes it is just kind of that, you know, that uh, that cookie cutter treatment. You know, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just say, sure. you know, they're pressed for time. You have high blood pressure. These are the things that work for high blood pressure in the medical model. That's what you get. Okay. Whereas in our setting, you know, you know, we have a big center. We have a lot of physicians available, so we're able to take the time to really spend with the people. We're able to customize our treatment plans and. And, and that's the difference is because, you know, it, it's, you know, we could easily overwhelm our center with patients. And that's why I say, you know, we're really looking for the people who are serious, who really want to get well. Now, now tell me this. Okay, so they're there uh -huh. and that, they have type 2 diabetes, or diabetes and, and they're on insulin. Mm -hmm. What are their fears? Their fears are. What are they the, afraid of? I mean, what what are the barriers between getting started and not? Sure, uh, they're they're worried that they're like they've tried all the the things that are out there, the things on the internet. They've read the gurus books and those types okay. of things. They're like, ah, is this really going to work? Because every diabetic knows another diabetic who's worse off than them, and they've seen the next progression of the disease. So okay. they've seen you know the losing the eyes. They've seen people go into dialysis. They've seen people who have lost a foot who have, are in a wheelchair. That's what they're so worried about. So what do you do about. to reassure them? Okay. The biggest thing is we show them our results. Our, okay. You know, our patients are all too happy to share their results. You know, so, you know, so in, you our, video testimony. in our office, we, I mean, we have a constant loop of, you know, patient after patient after patient, you know, who is telling that patient's story as they're sitting there. They say, okay, if that patient did it, I can do that. You know, so it, it, it really helps to reassure the patient that they're in the right place, you know, that it can be done. I mean, you know, in, you know patients in the extreme, a, a patient that we treated last year on 300 units of insulin, Randy, when she came to us. That a lot? That's that a lot. is a ton. Okay. That is a ton, okay? The worst I've ever seen, 380, uh, 380 units a day. She was on 300. In six months' time, we got her down to 25 units of insulin a day. She lost 75 pounds, and then she came back for a three-month follow-up after she got done with our program off all of her insulin, lost an additional 20 pounds, 95 pounds total in eight months, okay? She was on 11 other prescription medications, not a single one in really? sight. Yes, and these are the type of results that they see. And so when they're sitting in, in our office talking to our other patients, they're hearing this kind of stuff. Okay. So it's immediate, you know, uh, you know, uh, well, good for you. Good for you. you. You know, one of the things, though, so I don't have to have results not typical. I mean, obviously, results mm -hmm. vary from patient to patient. They do. And I'm not trying to side with you, but if what you're saying is true, a type 2 diabetic should give it a try. Absolutely. You should look into it. It's a free consultation. It's a free consultation. Do you guys have kind of seminars sometimes that you do? Yeah, sometimes we do uh, educational seminars in the community and we'll, you know, we'll lay out our approach. But, uh, you know, most of the time, you know, the best way is just to come in and out and uh, sit knee to knee with a doctor and let us talk, talk to you about our process. What do the patients like most about what you guys are doing? Aside from the results, they're mm -hmm. getting better. Right. But is there a, a common compliment you guys get? They really like the fact that we're giving them skills for life. Okay. okay, so we're not just throwing pills at them. We're explaining the process to them. We're helping them understand how they got sick in the first place and how they can never get sick again. That's the thing that they love. We're out of time. Great stuff. Okay, so somebody wants to get involved. Where do they begin? Best thing is just to call the office, make an appointment. Uh, they can go to our website, uh, check out all the different stories, all the patients that have come before them uh, so that they really can see what's possible. All right, well, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having great me. Great info, Andy. great info. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online, go to our website, 
Look under diabetes and you'll find it there or Integrative Health of Tampa, you'll also find there. And of course, Dr. Burns, that's spelled B-E-R-N-S. Is that right? That's and right. You'll find him there. For now, I wish you good health.